Part 1. The Note-Taking Revolution, From Paper to Platforms Part 2. System versus Canvas, What Makes Them So Different Part 3. The Brain Behind Your Notes, Who Will Power Your Productivity Part 1. The Note-Taking Revolution, From Paper to Platforms There was a time when taking notes meant pulling out a leather-bound notebook and a pen. A time when ideas lived on paper, fragile, messy, and often forgotten in a drawer. But then came the revolution, the digital revolution, and with it, a new breed of tools designed to capture thoughts faster, organize better, and create smarter. Two platforms rose to the top of that digital wave, Microsoft OneNote, the heavyweight built for business, Notion, the flexible underdog created for the new creators. This is the story of how the way we think got an upgrade. The legacy of OneNote Microsoft launched OneNote in 2003 as part of its office suite. It was designed for students, professionals, and knowledge workers. OneNote wasn't just a digital notepad, it was a binder, tabs, sections, pages, a familiar structure for an unfamiliar new world. It mirrored how we already thought, organized by subject, divide by topics, expand with endless pages. For businesses, it was perfect. Meetings, project, notes, internal documentation, all in a secure, integrated ecosystem. And with Microsoft's backing, OneNote found its way into millions of computers, laptops, and corporate workflows. If you were serious, you used OneNote, the rise of Notion fast, forward to the late 2010s. The world had changed. Remote work, side hustles, YouTube channels, startups, content creators. A generation needed a tool that didn't just store ideas, but built systems around them. Enter Notion. Founded in 2013, but truly exploding around 2018, Notion wasn't just a note app. It was a blank canvas. Tables, calendars, Kanban boards, wikis, everything modular, everything flexible. Where OneNote said, here's your binder. Notion said, Here's your playground. It wasn't about organizing what you already knew. It was about designing how you wanted your brain to work. And for the new generation, the builders, the dreamers, the freelancers, that freedom was electrifying. Two philosophies, two movements. One note is a system. A structured, tried and tested environment that mirrors academia and corporate life. Notion is a canvas, a flexible space that mirrors creativity, startups, and modern workflows. OneNote says, let's organize your knowledge efficiently. Notion says, let's create your knowledge uniquely. This is more than just software. It's a reflection of how different generations approach information. Traditional structures versus custom ecosystems. Stability versus flexibility. Preservation versus creation. Why they matter now. More than ever in a world where information is overwhelming, the ability to capture, structure, and act on ideas is critical. Students use these tools to pass exams. Entrepreneurs use them to build businesses. Teams use them to align vision and action. And the choice between OneNote and Notion often says more about your mindset than your to-do list. Are you looking for a vault or a workshop? Are you documenting what exists or inventing what could be? OneNote and Notion are not just apps. They are philosophies. They are ways of thinking. And as we move deeper into a digital first future, the battle between structure and freedom between system and creativity is only just beginning. Part 2. System versus Canvas. What makes them so different? At first glance, Notion and OneNote seem similar. Both let you write. Both let you organize. Both promise a better, smarter way to think. But when you dig deeper, you realize they are playing two completely different games. The structure. Notebook versus building blocks. One note organizes your life the way an old school binder does. Notebooks inside them, sections inside those, pages, simple, familiar. You know where to find things. You know how to file them. One note is built around the idea that knowledge flows in categories, that ideas have a place. Notion, there are no binders no preset categories. You start with nothing. A blank page. Want a to-do list? Drop a checkbox block. Need a database? Build one in seconds. 
Want a project management dashboard? Drag, drop, customize. Notion treats every piece of information as a Lego block. You create your own structure, or none at all. It's terrifying for some, liberating for others. User interface, business formal versus digital minimalism open OneNote, and it feels busy. Tabs, ribbons, menu bars, options everywhere. It reflects its Microsoft DNA, function over form, open Notion, and it feels empty. Just a blinking cursor on a clean white screen. It reflects Silicon Valley minimalism, form inspires function. OneNote tells you what to do next. Notion asks you what you want to do next. Integration and flexibility. Old world versus new world OneNote plays best inside the Microsoft ecosystem. Outlook Word Teams, SharePoint. If you work in corporate America or large institutions, OneNote feels like home, secure, integrated, seamless. Notion, it plays everywhere. Slack, Google Drive, Figma. Zapier Notion thrives in remote work culture, creative teams, and startups. It's not about locking you into one system. It's about connecting everything into one canvas. Customization. How much freedom is too much? OneNote gives you templates, pre-built structures. It tells you, here's a good way to organize meeting notes, class lectures, project plans. Notion gives you chaos or creativity. You can build anything. A second brain, a habit tracker, a book writing workspace, an entire company wiki. But with that freedom comes paralysis. Sometimes people spend more time designing their workspace than actually doing work. Because in Notion, the canvas is infinite. And infinite choice can feel overwhelming. One note. Wins at getting started. Notion wins at growing systems that feel uniquely yours. Security and offline access. The hidden battle in corporate environments. Security is king. OneNote's tight integration with Microsoft 365 means better encryption, compliance, and administrative controls. Timu shoppers? Not exactly worried about data leaks, but corporate teams definitely are. Notion, on the other hand, was cloud first. Offline mode only arrived years later. For highly secure, sensitive workflows, this can be a deal breaker. If your company cares about security certifications and offline robustness, OneNote wins. If you value speed, collaboration, and design-first thinking, Notion pulls ahead. So, what really makes them different? OneNote is a library, neat rows, reference materials, a sense of professional order. Notion is a workshop. Sparks flying, ideas half-finished, blueprints being drawn. One is safe, the other is infinite. Choosing between OneNote and Notion isn't just about features. It's about how your brain likes to work. Do you thrive when order is given to you? Or do you thrive when you create your own order? There's no right answer. Only different kinds of minds and different kinds of revolutions. Part 3. The Brain Behind Your Notes. Who Will Power Your Productivity? As we step deeper into an AI-driven, hyper-connected future, one thing becomes clear. Note-taking is no longer about writing things down. It's about creating a thinking partner, an extension of your brain, a system that doesn't just store information, but helps you use it. And here, Notion and OneNote are preparing for the real battle. Not for your notes, but for your mind. AI in your pocket. The rise of smart notes. Both platforms are integrating artificial intelligence at lightning speed. OneNote taps into Microsoft's AI ecosystem, powered by Copilot and Azure. Imagine taking meeting notes automatically, summarizing ideas instantly, turning messy brainstorms into action plans. Notion integrates its own AI assistant, trained, to brainstorm, edit, summarize, and even create new content based on your pages. It feels less like software and more like a creative partner. Soon your note app won't just hold your ideas, it'll talk back, suggest, summarize, plan. Notes won't be static. They'll be alive. Community and templates. Strength in numbers. Another hidden weapon? Community. OneNote has millions of business users, but a smaller creator-driven ecosystem. Its structure works best for internal collaboration, official documentation, corporate training. Notion exploded thanks to its fan base, YouTube channels, TikTok creators, freelancers, 
all sharing custom templates, second brain setups, aesthetic dashboards. You don't just download Notion. You join a culture. You find productivity setups tuned for students, writers, designers, entrepreneurs. You don't have to build from scratch, unless you want to. In the long war for user loyalty, a passionate community can be a decisive weapon. The future. Specialized versus personalized. Looking ahead, the question isn't who's better. It's who fits you better. OneNote will continue to dominate where structure, security, and large organizations rule. It will be the Swiss army knife of knowledge management for teams. Notion will continue to thrive among creators, startups, and solo builders. It will be the endless playground for those who see organization as art. But the real wild card? AI. Imagine, your notes auto-organized by theme, your tasks prioritized by urgency, your brainstorms turned into slide decks overnight. Whoever builds the better thinking assistant, whoever helps you not just record but realize your ideas faster, will win. Because the future isn't just about taking notes anymore. It's about creating second brains. The final choice, brain versus workshop choosing between OneNote and Notion isn't just a tech decision. It's a life decision. Do you value structure? Or do you crave freedom? Do you want a vault of wisdom? Or a playground of dreams? One is built for preserving knowledge. The other is built for evolving it. In a world where information doubles every year, the right note-taking tool is no longer a luxury. It's a survival tool. And whether you choose the vault or the playground, the important thing is to choose something. Because in the future, the real battle isn't between apps. It's between minds who are organized and minds who are overwhelmed. Choose your mind wisely.